Well, behind me is a big smile, but is the inside a big smile as well? Especially if you know that I paid less than 100 euros for this big box. And as you can guess it, it's an Amazon returned 3D printer. Let's find out, right here. Hey, Zach here and welcome to this video. Styrofoam packaging with some bubble wrap and tape. Oh my gosh, there's still, still this so maybe everything is in there I don't know you must be kidding me you can guess what I'm missing and I really hope it's it's in there oh yeah that one is also missing but those I have enough it's not in the box no no screws so I'm four times 22. So yeah, it's a return. What can you expect? How dare you to say to me that I'm screwed? Yeah, you're actually right, by the way. The one most important thing of the whole build, the screws. The zip ties are there. So I'm outside, I'm standing by the local hardware store called Gamma in Van Rij. So I need to find some M4 times 22 screws. Ooh, Red Bull. So, M4 times 16, M5 times 20. Oops. So, apparently the Gamma doesn't have it. So, let's go across uh, the parking and uh, go to the other one. The Paxis. So, I'm now inside of the Paxis. I see a lot of hardware. More like the ones that are in the US. Oh, everything is tiny here. So I really hope to find them. I have no idea. I really hope that I'm in the correct alley corner. So let's let's find them. So much choice between all the things that I possibly can use. It seems to like it that they don't have the ones that I actually need. So I could go for the Philips one, M4 times 20, 20 pieces. I can also go for 30 and take them both. But, oh my gosh, this is this is wild. In the Netherlands, we don't have those or cannot get them. Or yeah, we do get them, but the heads are too thick. So we're looking for a drill bit. Maybe I won't need them. I cannot measure it. Yeah, I, I need to go for a metal drill bit to drill holes a little bit bigger, making sure that I can fit them. Because the last thing that I want is that for some reason, the, the the head is not going in and also now i got also the drill bit it's an eight let's get back to the studio and let's uh, assemble the uh, Eiffelson uh, racer and this is the reason why i'm hasting it that much because my studio is one big mess so instead of metal drill eight i had to use ten which I had, and I have drilled all the holes that size. So everything is now working. It just fits right in there. So let's continue and assemble the Eiffelson SR.
Yeah, so far the screws are going in pretty fine. The uh, drilling out the holes did help, even though I'm not using the uh, normal Allen screws. The M4 normal Phillips kind of screws are working fine. Now I'm going to put it on the base and let's continue with assembling the Ethelson SR. So the wire from the bottom goes into the top here. Take a good look at the little notch that is in here. It needs to be connected right over there until it fits. So let's switch on the printer and see what happens. So set, like tools. Let's uh, let's do the uh, calibration. So auto level, auto level. Let's see what is on the SD card and let's start the test print. Well, the, this doesn't look very perfect, but I had to adjust it a little bit more. But this seems to look nice. So, and after 38 minutes, it is finished. Woo! So, the very first print on the Avilson Super Razor Amazon returned with some custom screws and screw holes. 
Well, I have printed also a banshee on this 3D printer and it turned out very nicely, which also turns out nicely, a model from Printed Obsession called Yoki. I slice it in Cura and look how nice this printer lays down the first layers. So beautiful. Oh, look at that beautiful sub... I, I mean, subscribe to the channel.